Hello everyone, it's Margaret Bailey. Um, I know it's been a long time since my last video, and in my last video I said I probably wasn't going to be making any more videos. Um, I wasn't planning on it, but I just wanted to give you all an update since a lot has happened this year. COVID happened, and um, mainly I wanted to give an update that um, my family and I are safe. We're all washing our hands, social distancing, wearing our masks. I hope you all are too, and um, you know, a lot has happened this year, and it's been rough on all of us, and uh, well, as far as any other updates, um, most urgent updates, I guess, my, uh, my mother was hit by a car a couple of weeks ago, um, it was the driver's fault, she was at a crosswalk, and um, she had the walk signal and everything. And uh, I guess the driver just didn't see her. And uh, she was in the hospital for a few days. She uh, fractured her pelvis in a couple of places and dislocated her shoulder. And um, she's in kind of like a rehab, like nursing facility type place now. They're um, trying to get her walking again and uh, helping her um, adjust to her injuries, I guess, and her recovery. So, um, there's that. And, uh, well, as far as, like, what my channel is known for, basically, um, I have dentures. I'm not wearing them right now. Uh, well, not obviously, because I guess some people can't tell. But I'm not wearing my dentures right now, and, um, I'll explain more about that in a minute. Um, but anyway, I created this channel um, because when I had the surgery to have all of my upper teeth removed and get immediate dentures put in, I thought that I was like the youngest person that I had heard of that had had this happen. And, um, you know, it was really, um, it was really rough on my self-esteem and uh, it took a long time for me to feel pretty again. And I sort of do now. Um, I still have issues with self-esteem, but, you know, can't just fix that. Um, but I am a lot more comfortable with um, not wearing my dentures now. And I guess I'll get more into that. Um, the reason why I'm not wearing my dentures is because the, um, the immediate dentures that I had put in after my surgery, they weren't permanent. Um... It took about, it took like a whole year for my gums to heal, and as they healed, they shrunk. So, um, I kept going back to my denture guy, and, uh, he would put this, like, foam stuff in my dentures, and then, like, put them in, and it would set, and they would, like, form fit to my gums. And, uh, I had to have that done every couple of months, because, like, it would wear out, and they would get loose and uncomfortable and start to get sore. And, um, so that was happening every couple of months, but it's been a year now, and, uh, I can get my permanent dentures. The issue is that, um, I have to pay a hundred dollars to get them, and, uh, that wouldn't be an issue to most people, but my insurance doesn't cover it, and I'm agoraphobic, and I don't work, um, so it is an issue for me. I'm just, uh kind of saving up money to, um, be able to get my permanent dentures. And, uh, so, there's that, and, um, I really do feel more comfortable without my dentures in now, because, um, well, the, the dentures that I have, like I said, they're not the permanent ones, so they're kind of, like, loose-fitting, and they get sore after a while. I can't chew very well with them in, but... Um, you know, my gums are completely healed, and I still have my natural bottom teeth. So, um, I can pretty much chew whatever I need to chew, besides, like, um, like nuts or anything real hard. Um, so I can't, like, eat, uh, eat, like, candy or brownies with nuts in it anymore. Unless I have my teeth in, of course, because, like, then I can just, uh, I can eat everything around it, and then just, like, um spit out the, the nuts, I guess. I was trying to 
keep that from sounding sexual. Oh well. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, so that's my update. My mom was hit by a car, COVID happened, um, nobody in my immediate family has gotten COVID. We've all been staying safe, so stay safe and wear your mask and wash your hands and I mean, the agoraphobia, I gotta say, it's rough, but it kind of helps with the social distancing a little bit because I barely leave my house anyway. So, social distancing is a lot less of a problem when you're agoraphobic, I guess. Um, but anyway, uh, there might be a couple more things that I forgot, and um, I might get back into this blog thing because I'm bored, and... Um, and whatever. Okay, well, um, thanks for watching, and y'all have a good day. Stay safe, and um, I'll see you later. Or you might see me later. Might not. Who knows? Goodbye, everyone.